Hello, my name is Patrick and I'm with Falcon Sales and we just had a customer ask a question about lines and routing of lines. So we're going to make a video talking about lines. More than just routing of lines, we're going to talk everything that people want to know about lines here, hopefully in one uh, complete video about lines. And the first thing I'll say is when it comes to sailing or kayak sailing or any kind of sailing, a quality line is very important. If you have an inferior line, um, your rig will only be as strong as your inferior line. What you need are good quality, uh, long-lasting, low-stretch, and very strong lines. Um, at Falcon Sales, um, with our kits, we include all the lines that you'll need to make your boat in it work and work well as a sailboat and you won't need any other lines. The line that comes with the Falcon sail rig is this black, uh, very low stretch uh, Dacron line. It's pre-stretched and it's black. Of course, you know, black isn't critical for sailing performance, but it looks good. And this kind of line is hard to find in a good solid black line. And this is what we use. It's 1 8 inch, uh, very low stretch Dacron line. Uh, I also want to talk about where our lines are used, the routing of the lines, and also some of the knots involved so that you might have a complete understanding of lines, routings, what they're used for. Um, I'll start out with the lines that are closest to me right now, and that would be, um, this is in the sailing world, this is called a sheet line. This is the line that controls the boom, okay? So when you pull on this line, it pulls the boom in tighter. And when you release the line, it loosens the boom. So depending if the wind's to your back, you'll let the sail out like this. And when you start to work your way more upwind, you'll pull it in tight like that. So you can, that's your main adjustment and trim line for, you know, uh, sailing. Okay, another line, that, and that of course is a very low stretch Dacron line. Um, another line that a Falcon sail has is an outhaul line. It's not a critical line, but if you want a well done proper sail rig, you really need an outhaul line so that you can adjust the tension. Uh, most people just leave it there and don't play around with it much, but it, as you learn more about sailing, you'll be glad you had it. This is an outhaul line. Okay, the next line I'll talk about here will be the standing lines. Now these are very important to keep your sail rig solid. Um, there are five standing lines. They're back stay lines, side stay lines, and a four stay line. The four stay line is in red. It, this one actually performs two functions and there's a special routing. So we put a red line on temporarily so that it shows well in this video. Um, the knots are very important. And uh, these knots, once they're set, they'll, they'll stay put for the life of the boat and these uh, lines are very stiff. As a matter of fact, it makes it so that your boat and your mast become one. I mean, if the boat moves, the mast moves. If the mo mast moves, the boat moves. So that's important. So side stays, back stay, and four stay. Now the four stay line, you can come on, come on over here. You'll see that it leads back to this cleat. And the critical part of the four stay line is it allows you to lower the cleat quickly and easily like this and it allows you to raise the sail very quickly and easily. Okay, so it comes back here. Now, one question that people have sometimes is how do we route our four stay line? And this is how it goes. It starts back here at the cockpit where you can conveniently reach it. Goes straight forward to this bow pulley up to our patented junction ring, down in this hole in the mast here, in the front, and then out the back, and then up to the bottom of the sail. This is called a tack in the sailing world, or you can call it just a grommet. Uh, but this red line, you can see it starts at the sail, goes down to the hole, forward, up to the junction ring, forward to the bow pulley, and straight back to the cleat. You don't run it through any um, fair leads or anything like that. It should just come straight back. So that's the uh, four-stay downhaul line. 
Another line that a falcon sail has that's very important for somebody that's serious about sailing is the boom vane line. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the boom vane line. The boom vane line, without it, if you have the wind to your back, your boom can raise up and then you dump air, you lose power, and that makes it very undesirable, especially if you're trying to derive as much power as you can in as steady of a ride as you can. Because without a boom vane line, the, the boom will go up and down and up and down. So with the boom vane line, if I set it, the only thing it does is holds the boom down. See that? that there's a couple things I can say about a boom vane line before I show you the routing. Number one, if you're just getting started, don't worry about the boom vane line. Don't rig it. Don't rig it until you see a problem and you understand it. Because when it's time to fold your sail up, if you forget to release it, you can't fold the, the boom up to the mast, and then some people, you know, might have a hard time figuring out why it's not working. So just leave that off until you've been sailing a few times and you see the boom rising and you don't like it. Um, in this case, I'll show you the routing. I like to set the boom vane line right next to the forestay line because they should both be released when you put the sail down so that you can put the sail down and fold the, and secure it. So the boom vang line in green, usually it's black, but we, get, we put a green one on here to make it easy to see. It goes from the cleat straight to the bottom of the mast base. You can see this hole. I put it on the left side. It comes around, goes around the front, and you can see here it goes forward, and then it comes back, and then straight up to the boom. And in this case, in other cases, we use a bowline knot. Now, bowline knots are not critical, but they're a proper knot to use in the sailing world. On our website, falconsails.com slash knots, we go over bowline knots and we go over other knots, the special knots like on the standing lines and that sort of thing. Okay, so we've talked about the sheet line the forestay downhaul line in red, the boom vang line in green, the back stay, side stay, and we've got two more lines to talk about. And this is just a very simple one, but in this case, not everybody rigs their uh, pulley like this, but in this case, I drilled a hole through the bow tip of this kayak and tied the pulley on. And you want to tie a pulley on tight, not loose. You want to get rid of all the slack and in this case I used a water knot that's also on falconsales.com slash knots you'll see a water knot there you can use any knot you want but as far as proper knots go that's a really good one and then the last line I think we need to talk about it's really not a line but it's the it's the sail tie down kit every falcon sail rig comes with a tie down kit or actually two of them and Here's one and here's the other one. And they are used to secure the sail when it's in the down position. And I'll just go ahead and release the boom bang, release the forest aid, I'll drop the sail. The sail hasn't been properly flaked yet. But I'll just do it really quick. We have another video on properly folding the sail. And you'll see the just selected a spot to put these. There's that one. Put that one on. So now the sail is secured to the boat and it's in the down position. You could paddle all day long like this or if it's just too windy you can put it down also. And as long as the sail is dry you can leave it like this uh, 365 days a year you can drive to the uh, put in like this also I'll go ahead and put the sail up again real quick so you can see how fast and easy this is okay, the sails up so that's that now the last thing I wanted to talk about with line are if you really want the best highest performance line we have this uh, Dyneema core line it's basically a cable equivalent line. It's super low stretch. It's even more low stretch than our polyester. Um, the, there are some problems with it. It does require some special ends. You have to treat the ends with epoxy or something to keep it from fraying because 
uh, Dyneema will not melt to itself and it's um, and this line is available on our online store we pre-treat both ends of it but when you go to cut it you'll have to dip it in epoxy or some kind of system or to prevent it from fraying further but this is an option also um, we also have that option for the standing lines uh, so you can check that out at our online store but in any case this line's very good quality. You'll be happy with it. It will last a lifetime, and you'll it works great. And that's pretty much it about lines. This is about everything I think you, all the basics you need to know about line. But the one thing I can tell you is you can count on Falcon Sales to work on delivering the best line, the best rig, the best complete rig that we possibly can, and the best support and help. So you can check us out on falconsales.com to learn more. Thank you very much.